CapCut video editing software has a nice trick to put text behind moving objects or people. The video I will use is a mom and daughter walking and a puppy running beside them. If I add text to this video, it will be added on top, so objects appear beneath it. First, I will make the text duration as long as I want to appear in the video. I want it to appear the whole time, so make the text length the same as the video. Feel free to make text length as long as you wish to appear on the screen. I will also adjust the font size and rearrange its position. You can also change the text color or animate the texts with CapCut effects. I am okay with the text color and do not wish to add any animation for this tutorial. So the text appears nicely over the video and you have to export it. I will use the default settings for export and only change the title. Export it to your preferred location and you have to import that file again in the CapCut. I have exported the file to the desktop and will take it to the timeline again. When you drag it to the timeline, you have to follow a particular order for this trick to work. The original video file has to be on top of the exported video. The exported one has the text attached to it, and the original is the one without the text. I find it tricky to arrange the video files but dragging it a couple of times achieves the goal. Now it is appearing the way I want. This one is the exported one, and this one is the original. The top text layer does not matter, and I can delete it if I want. I will do that just a bit later. After putting the original video on top of exported one, select the original video. Click on it, and it will be selected. Then go to Video, Cutout on the right side. Select the Auto Cutout checkbox, and CapCut will do its magic. It will keep the moving objects and remove the other things. Depending on the file, it may take some time to complete the cutout process. If I turn off the top text layer, you will see the magic happens. The texts are now appearing behind those people. It is also important to alight the original video and the exported one. My alignment was slightly off, but I can drag it to adjust. You can now export the video file and share it with others. I have shown this tutorial using the desktop editor of CapCut, which is available on Mac and Windows. I will make tutorials on CapCut for desktops in the upcoming days. Thanks for watching and see you next.